Welcome to the Hillbilly Hard YouTube channel where I shoot guns, hunt deer, and fish. Plus, I'm a mechanic. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Have a nice day. Recently, I've got started back working on my stroker motor. And this crankshaft has laid out here in my building for a while. And it's got some surface rust on it. And it's not a lot of surface rust, but it's on the, you know, the throws of the crank and it's on the journals it would probably come off fairly easily but i've always wanted to try electrolysis and i have a big tote that this crankshaft will fit down inside of and i'm gonna try to do electrolysis on this crankshaft and get this rust off of it without sanding it or doing anything like that so i'm gonna take y'all with me today we're gonna set this crank up in a tote and get some battery hooked up to it and put some salt in the water and we're gonna try to do some electrolysis today. Like I said, I've never done this before, but from what I understand, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I was taught about it in school, and then I saw a couple of YouTube videos on it and people doing it. So I'm just going to go off of what I know. I'm not looking it up again or doing anything like that. I'm just going to go off of what I know and remember. So, first thing I'm going to do is set the crank in here and get it covered with water. I'm going to add some salt to the water to help the water have a little bit more uh, conductivity. Regular water is not very conductive, but if you put some salt in it, it really makes it conductive. It's going to put about that much. I don't know how much. About that much salt. Just enough to make it more salty and more conductive. The second thing you need is something to... You need an anode. You need something for the rust to stick to. So I'm going to find a, a piece of steel that doesn't matter that I can sit in there and all the rust will come off of that crank and stick to that piece of steel. I'm just going to use this just because it's long enough that it sticks up and I can hook my clamp to it right here. The next thing I need is a battery. I've got my marine battery on my boat in here charging. I'm going to take this marine battery and sit it right here. Hook my charger up to it. Alright guys, the way electricity flows in a vehicle, in a 12 volt system, in a car. I don't know about AC, but on DC current, the way it flows is negative to positive. You would think it flows positive to negative, but that's not right. It flows negative to positive. So I'm going to clamp my negative on the crankshaft, and I'm going to clamp my positive to this of metal then I'm going to hook, hook up the black to the negative the red to the positive on the battery let water go in here and let it fill up over top of the crankshaft I can already see it working like it's supposed to as soon as this water stops filling up I'll show y'all what we got mix that salt up in here a little bit make sure it's all Mixed up good. All right, guys, it's immediately evident that this is working. I don't know if y'all can see them bubbles coming off of that crankshaft. Somehow or another, the electrical flow is going through this crankshaft over to this piece of steel, sucks the rust off of the crankshaft, and it, uh, and it ends up on this steel. I'm not sure the exact scientific reason, but I just know that electrolysis works to get rust off things. So, I don't know how long it needs to sit here. You can obviously see that right here, where it's really close to the steel, is working better. And over here, where it's farther away, it isn't working as fast. So, what I want to do is, I don't want my clamp, sorry, I don't want my clamp to be in down in the water, because I don't want my clamp to get rusted up. But, I wish 
that there was this piece of steel was laying sideways. So it was close pro in proximity to the crankshaft all the way across. So what I may do, I've got another piece of steel. I'm going to do something here real quick. I'll show y'all. So instead of that, I'm going to put this piece of steel down in the water. And I'm going to sit this piece of steel on it. Like so, where it gets a good connection. And hook my clamp here. Now, this piece of steel should be in proximity to my crankshaft all the way across. I think that should help. But you can see it working. You can already see it. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable to me because as soon as I unhook my negative cable, the bubbles stop coming off the crankshaft. And as soon as I hook it back up, the crankshaft starts bubbling and bubbles start coming off of it everywhere in the water. So it's immediately working. It's immediately going into the process of electrolysis. So I don't know how long I have to leave that sitting there or how long I have to leave the, the battery on it, but it should suck all the rust off this crankshaft and apply it to these, these pieces of steel that are sitting here. And those, those pieces of steel doesn't matter to me. I mean, they're just some scrap that I've had for a really long time. But I find it very interesting. And uh, I've always wanted to try it. And I've never had any reason to. But I really want to get all the rust off this crank, off the throws and everything, without using a wire brush on it. i got to get some emery cloth and do some polishing on these journals right here. But... I didn't want to start polishing with the rust still on there. So I'm going to let this sit here for indefinite amount of time. I'm not exactly sure how long. Um, but I've got my battery charger hooked up to my battery. So the battery shouldn't die. So I can leave it on there, I guess, as long as I want it. I'll let y'all know I'll get back in here after maybe 10 hours or something, five hours. And we'll get another video of it and see what it looks like in five hours. In the meantime, I'm probably going to start clearance and start bolting down all my main bearings and measuring the inside diameter of these journals on my main bearings. Here, I'll turn the camera up here and show you. i got to bolt down all these main bearing caps with those... ARP main studs and start measuring all the diameters of my main journals with the bearings in it. That way once I get my crank polished I can measure and see what my clearances are going to be. I really hope I don't have to buy a crankshaft for this motor because the crankshaft for this thing is $545 and I don't have $545 to put into a crank. So I'm really trying hard to save this crankshaft. But I'll let you guys know what I find and what happens, and I'll get back with you. All right, guys, it's maybe been 45 minutes or an hour. Look at this water. That's unbelievable. That was a clean tote of water with a rusted crankshaft. Let's pick the crank up and look at it. Man, that's a lot different. It took almost all the rust off already. I'm going to leave it in there for a while longer, but... That's crazy, y'all. I never tried electrolysis, but I guarantee you, electrolysis is the shiz. If you got something that's rusted and you want the rust off of it, use electrolysis. Probably leave this thing in here for like 10 hours or something, but this is only after 45 minutes. That's how much rust has came off that crankshaft. I may change the water here in a little bit and put fresh water in it and start it back. But that's wild. Let's pull our... Uh, and it's not depositing onto the metal like it's supposed to, but oh well. Look what's happening, man. That's crazy. I think that's crazy, y'all. All right, guys. It's been probably maybe four or five hours. Look at how much rust is in there. It's unbelievable. I'm going to take a shot back and suck the water, rust off the top of the water real quick. <laughs> Wow, that was a lot of rust.
first. Unhook this cable real quick. Let's pull this crank out of here and check it out. See what it looks like. Wow. Wow. Let me get a rag and I'll wipe it off. Guys, literally every bit of the rust that was on this crankshaft is gone. Some of the places where it was rusted that worst. I don't know if y'all can see, but let me get in here where y'all can see a little bit. All right, guys, see that black stuff right there? That's where the rust was at the worst. And I just take a rag and wipe it. Now, and all that's gone. That's unbelievable. Zoom back out here a little bit. This is what I would do if I was going to try to get rust off a crankshaft again. This is the key. This is what you do. Take the crank, stick it in water, a little salt water, put a battery cable on it, put your positive on a piece of metal inside the water, let her go to town. Next thing you know, there won't be any rust left. Now I'm going to go ahead, while I got this thing here, I'm going to air hose this crank off and spray it down with WD-40 so it don't rust again. I'm going to do that right now. But that's the end of this video. I'll see y'all next time. Appreciate you for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Peace out.